I'll be doing these updates as I can, as I have been extremely sick with COVID, unfortunately. All right, uh, starting off with Pimpy, I'm glad this election is over. As you can see, the rate didn't change. People spreading rumors about how the rate's going to change on the day of the election, all they although that would probably be a real sneaky tactic. What is the next benchmark here? Oh yeah, the 17th. That's the other one everybody is talking about. We will see. Hang tight. Like I said, I won't necessarily, it won't necessarily be an RI or RV. We're going to see it jump up in increments. As long as the economy continues to grow in strength, the private sector is being built, they're not relying so much on oil. There's a lot of factors. So far, so good. I'm happy and I'm curious to see who won. Caperoni. Looks like the Sadristic, Sadrist Block Al Sadr, Sadr will be the majority from the elections. They will have the right to choose the next prime minister. Since he does not get along with Al Maliki, we can assume. It will not be him or anyone from his party. As for current Prime Minister al Kazimi, he may very well put himself in position for tenure as Prime Minister and to achieve his economic agenda. All right, Militiaman, on the day of election results, we see that Seder is saying, we will work to raise the Iraqi dinar to be in the ranks of global currencies gradually. I'm not sure what his definition of gradual is, but Article 8 is fully international. Therefore, at the starting gate, there needs to be a beginning. Going international at 1460, in my opinion, is not in the cards. Sater is not the financial expert in charge of changing rate. The CBI is and will be, in my opinion. Regardless, change is coming. Bruce via Wiser now. We do believe it's finally on its way to fruition for us and come full circle to all the way where it is where we want it to show. I feel good about what I was hearing. I would say we are in a good place right now. We have to stay positive and eat about even the fact that Intel is quiet. This could go at any second, that's what I'm hearing. I'm just taking it, giving it out, just like I got it, and let's see what develops. Caperoni, Al Sater made a statement in the media after winning the largest block that we will work to raise the Iraqi dinar to be in the ranks of global currencies gradually. In other words, there is no overnight RV, as I've been saying all along. What that is saying really is they will float and it will go up gradually based on the growth of the economy. Desert Advisor. A few weeks ago, it was announced by one of the representatives about the price of oil. Quote, Representative Al Nassif called on the Minister of Finance to reduce the exchange rate of the dollar after the price of barrel of oil exceeded $80. They're announcing publicly from pretty much their members of Congress talking about they want to raise the rate. Pimpy article quote, new instructions for buying and selling foreign currency for the year 2021 and the stability of the dinar exchange rate. This is the one everybody's talking about. The wording in here is a little eye-catching. What I like is the fact they're saying they have to hold enough foreign reserves to be able to handle any kind of exchange that comes in. Now calm down, that doesn't mean there's going to be a rate change. They're definitely building up the private sector and that's what they need to do. Just so you guys know, part of the calculations for any foreign currency to have its value is the amount of foreign reserves that it has, and it appears Iraq is getting there. 
Lastly, Mark Z via PDK. We are waiting to see what today brings. I have nothing new for you. It's crazy quiet. All we can do is sit tight.